Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on Area Part 3. As we saw in the last video, area is the measure of the amount of flat surface which is contained within the boundaries of a flat shape. Now we touched on this next part briefly in earlier video, in an earlier video, and we'll just continue on here just to consolidate that learning. The word area occurs in many places in real life as we mentioned earlier. The following places are very common. We often hear of the term parking area. The grassed area is a common term and you often see this sign. Comparing areas. Areas of similar or different shapes can be sorted according to their sizes. On the following slide sort the shape names according to the size of each area. Number each name from 1 to 4 where 1 is the smallest area and 4 is the largest. So we remember 1 is the smallest and 4 is the largest. So let's have a look. We've got four things here, four objects. Now what do you think would have the smallest area? A normal sized envelope, a postage stamp, A4 writing paper or a tea towel? I'm sure you know that that is the smallest. What would be the next one? We've got a normal sized envelope, A4 writing paper and a tea towel. Now if you've sent birthday cards or Christmas cards, I think you know that that's the next smallest. The next one would definitely be this one and the normal sized tea towel which we use to dry the dishes. I think that would be the largest one of those four. Let's look at the idea of closed shapes. The following are examples of closed shapes. There's a rectangle, a circle, this arrow and a triangle. And basically what that means, if you're inside any one of those shapes there and there's a high fence, well you can't get out. There's no opening. That's basically the simple explanation of a closed shape. It is possible to find exact or good approximations to the area of closed shapes for obvious reasons. These are open shapes. So we have four of them here. We cannot find the area of an open shape because there are no closed boundaries. Now these shapes are open because if you find yourself anywhere there, you can get out of the shape because it's not closed. You can walk around and get out of it. Terms which compare areas. Words such as the following can be used to compare areas. We can use words like bigger than, that is one area is bigger than the other. One area is nearly the same as the other. One area is smaller than the other or one area is equal to the other. Let's look at some statements here using those words. The area of the A4 sheet is bigger than the area of the postage stamp. That's very easy to see. That area is bigger than that one. The area of the envelope is smaller than the area of the tea towel. Very easy to see. And finally, the areas for the seats on each stool are nearly the same. We're not sure if they're exactly the same, but you can see straight away just by quickly looking at them, they definitely are nearly the same. So this video has continued to look at area and we've seen how we can actually compare areas just by looking at them.